Jake is so funny. He kept stealing Aiden's Christmas presents and pretending to help him open them. And then he would store them in his cupboard and keep him safe and sound. Mm. I have to say, this is the first Christmas that Emma really was able to appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not even going to pretend to be objective. Her face was amazing. Immortalized by all the thousands of pictures you took of her. Aww. Memories. There's nothing better than experiencing the holidays with your kids. Speaking of, does anybody have plans for New Year's Eve? Uh, actually, I decided to invite Patrick to stay until New Year's. We're going to give this trial togetherness thing a whirl. Hey, where's Cam? He's in daycare. He is so excited he refuses to take off those snow boots you bought him. <laughs> <laughs> is that why that bus is out there? You're going on a little hospital ski trip? Yes, obviously. I couldn't get away, so my lovely brother has offered hey, to take Cam. Any chance to get on the mountain a couple of days? It's going to be great teaching Cam how to ski. Oh, my goodness. What my brother is nobly not saying is that the majority of the people going are teenagers. <laughs> it's going to be a very long trip. Special project uh, Carly, for you. Carly, I'm up to my eyeballs in this New Year's Eve party. Oh, I'm more than happy to take it out of your hands. I'm supposed to go on the General Hospital ski trip, and I need you to go in my place. Niles in yet? I can page her if you'd like. No, he's the opposite. If she asks for a consult, I'm not available. So you're gonna teach Cam how to ski? Oh, I'm sure gonna try. Remember that boy's a Weber. He picks things up fast. Our dad had us on skis since we were four. <laughs> Cameron has a lot of time to make up for then. Hmm. The idea of Emma on skis just scares me. Honey, it's inevitable. I suppose. At least she'll have her daddy to pick her up when she falls. That's right. Please tell me Matt is not with a patient. How dare people get ill and mess up your plans? The ski trip was his idea, not mine. I didn't know you were going on the ski trip. With my brother. I happen to love skiing. Happen to love a glass of wine by the fire at the lodge even more. Well, Cedar Mountain has some pretty challenging runs. Oh, I'm counting on it. So I can press next with my dual black diamond skills. <laughs> well, maybe you will be the one to be dazzled. <laughs> yeah, I'm counting on it. In what realm of imagination does taking kids on a skiing trip fall within the scope of my employment? I will double your salary. Two days, all expense paid at Cedar Mountain Ski Resort. Okay, maybe you haven't heard. We don't do bunny slopes in Bensonhurst. You will be fine, okay? I'll cover the cost of your ski clothes, your equipment, and your lessons. Where's this sudden wave of generosity coming from? Morgan signed up to go. Michael's going now, too. The hospital needed adults to go. I said I would go. I'm having a scheduling conflict. I need you to go in my place. Okay, this has nothing to do with angling for extra time with the Jacks. Okay, fine. I need to spend some extra time with my husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he ain't too happy that Brenda's marrying Sonny. Is that what I told you? Well, he said that Sonny announced it at Luke and Tracy's wedding, and I can't say I'm surprised. I gotta say, I have never in my life heard Sonny talk about any woman the way he talks about this Brenda. <laughs> Who knows, maybe she's finally the thing that'll make him uh, get out of his life a crime. It'll certainly make Dante's life a whole lot easier. Mm. Dante must be thrilled. I wish Brendan Sonny all the joy and happiness in the world, the same as I wish you and Jax. Which is why I guess I am going on a ski trip. Oh. Hey, look hey. here, Doc. Hey, Cam. Tell me you're not here just to see more now. Um, actually, Carly asked me to fill in for her on a ski trip. This is starting to be fun. <laughs> Except Olivia doesn't know how to ski. Uh, I'll just have to take care of that now, won't I? I already offer. OK, easy, fellas. Don't fight. There's plenty of me to go around. I promised Kate the specs for the April issue. Thank you, Lulu. That's perfect. No, I'm still waiting for Matt. I swear, if he cancels on me for brain surgery, I'm going to kill him. I'll talk to you later, bye. OK, I know what you're thinking. I promised Mac that I would help him house hunt. And here I am going on this ski trip when clearly Mac hates living in that month-to-month -month rental, so I'm pretty selfish. No, I was surprised to hear that you're going on the ski trip with Matt, but I want you to have fun, okay? And if at any point you feel like you want to sabotage your trip, please call me and I'll talk you down. Deal. I love you. All right, you have uh, my patient files. Thank you for taking them. Not a problem. I just uh, hope it's worth it. Well, you tell me. You're the expert on high maintenance women. <laughs> it's, uh, it's worth it, for sure. You and Robin seem like you're in a better place. Dr. Elliot Shipp. 
We're taking it slow, but yeah, I feel like we're moving in the right direction. She needs to believe that she can trust me again. And I have to earn that trust, so. Hey! hey. How's it going? How are you? Hey. Here's your brother. Oh, he's not coming. I'm really oh, upset. You guys haven't left yet. You forgot your long underwear. <laughs> that wasn't embarrassing, Mom. You'll thank me when you don't freeze your tush off. Humor me. Wear them. You guys excited? Yeah. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. You should come. Oh, uh, well, somebody has to stay here and work to pay for the very expensive ski trip to Cedar Mountain. Oh, jealous. You know me, honey. I'm a sun, sand, kind of five-star hotel gal. But if you guys want to put sticks on your feet and risk hypothermia, you have my full support. I so I guess we're going to have some music on this trip, huh? Not to worry. I'm not going to drag everyone into a sing-along. It's for me. <laughs> When Cam goes to sleep, mm. I won't be able to hang out in the bar or the lobby, so I'll play some music instead. Would you mind an audience? Are you serious? Well, I just remember the uh, the story that you told me about the impromptu concert you gave in your backyard oh, no, for the neighbor no, no, kids. No, 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 but that's not fair. No, 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 no. no. You said you were, you were you were Bon Jovi meets Santana. I would really like to see that. So somehow you uh, you seem more like a Springsteen girl. Mm. Now, how did you ever guess that? All the tough girls with hearts of gold love Bruce. <laughs> I'll meet you over there in a second. Okay. See you over there. Wait, Ellie. I'm sorry, Michael Bale. Chrissy, I hate to break it to you, but I didn't come on this trip to spend time with Michael. I'm going to snowboard and hang out and have fun. So relax, oh, control freak supreme. It's all good. Do you? Get how frustrating this is? How perfect you would be for Michael if he would just give you a chance. Listen carefully. Michael and Allie will not be getting together. Anyway, I'm kind of into this guy at my school. Who? Um, I don't know if you know him. His name's Tim Sawyer. Hey, Christina. Allie? Michael, you made it. Yeah. Hey, um, look, I, I really want to apologize for blowing off your party. Stop. I just told Chrissy. I think you're awesome as a friend only. Yeah. Um, Besides, I'm kind of seeing this guy at my school. That's great. No, that's great. Uh, me too. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm seeing somebody, so friends is good. Yay! That's over. Now we can relax and have fun. Uh, Michael, Molly said you weren't coming. Again. Yeah, I, uh, I changed my mind. Sweet. Now we can do the double black diamonds. Hmm? Did Abby talk you into coming? Who's Abby? No, uh, just a friend. So are you going to be skiing or snowboarding? One day of each, I think. I want to try the half pipe, but you can go hey. so much faster. Hey, can I get everyone's attention, please? Guys, it's time to head out to the parking lot. We're going to stop for dinner on the way. So take whatever you need for the bus because everything else is going to be stowed underneath, okay? Let's go. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh, have oh. fun. Have fun, my babies. And, 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 and don't break anything, okay? Mama can't breathe. Oh, she can't breathe. Mama. Hey, right. okay, listen to Mommy. You be a good boy for Uncle Steven, okay? Okay. Okay, and you don't take him on anything too steep. Oh, come steep. on, relax. He's a Weber. Oh. He can handle it. Hey, uh, Patrick, did you get that chart that I left? Yeah, I already looked at it. Oh, great. Well, if you want, we can go over the post-diagnostic in the cafeteria and grab a snack. Actually, I think it's better that we do it here. Less chance of a distraction. And we all know how easily you get distracted, Dr. Niles. It's an easy drive to the lodge. Three hours at most. Great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ready for this? You know I've never skied. Not one day in my life, never. Oh, come on. You're really going to let that stop you? Uh, you know, Doc, us uh, tough chicks with hearts of gold. We're up for anything. <laughs>